Good. Skip. Hey, hey, hey. Good afternoon. Um, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Hi, Silver in here. How are you doing? Um, hope you're well. Man, it's freezing outside there today. Um, good, good, good. Just waiting for just a few minutes and uh, just get cracking with it. <clears throat> David Martin, how are you? Claudette Murray, good evening. How are you doing? I um, want to wish you a fantastic day. Um, it's good. It's good, good, good. Now, how's the week been? Keith, Bridget, how's Jamaica? Um, ah, David, yes, I actually, Ma, Ma, um, Matt, good evening, good evening. Um, um, David, I, I actually did see that article and um, I put it on like an, an alert so I can actually read it later. Maureen Feweber, good evening. I actually put that article, um, David, to 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 do to check out, um, ladies and gentlemen, do check out David Martin article on of Offington Post, the animation evangelist. That is it, the animation evangelist. That's that's awesome, David. I need to check it out to find that angle where it is coming from with Huffington Post. Great job, fantastic there. Doing some great stuff in Jamaica as well. Um, even Bianca, um, you know, you know, the, the, there's that program in Jamaica which is called the Innovators. The Innovators is by a good friend of mine called Yannick, Yannick Page, my good bona fide brethren. You know, one time I was in Jamaica, Yannick drove me all around the place. I had an interview with uh, Nationwide, Yannick Page took me there. And an interview at TVJ, Yannick Page took me there, and stuff like that. And um, I think something similar, what they're doing, like with the with the with the, um, the dragons, um, something like with the dragons, which which they have in the UK. And I believe there's so many great skills in Jamaica as well, great skills and great fantastic things coming out of the Caribbean. That's why I'm so appalled. Why, when we hear certain terms from individuals that we ascribe and we take in negative terminologies upon ourselves not you of course my wonderful people you know who are listening now but how we take on and i'm going to get into that in, in a bit in, in a few minutes you know um well, there's some, some fantastic things coming out of africa some fantastic things coming out of the caribbean some fantastic things coming out of haiti listen there's fantastic things coming out of bethlehem you know as i said can anything good come out of bethlehem or out of nazareth or whatever like that you know, fantastic thing, ladies and gentlemen, you know, but, but, uh, you know, but first of all, let me just introduce myself for those who um, don't know. My name is Silburn Sidiel and, um, and that's me, Silburn Sidiel, the host of the Silburn Show, lawyer, um, politician and um, unapologetic voice. And uh, Kavita, how are you, Kavita? Some news. Um, we'll speak about that tomorrow. <laughs> uh, you might know the news. Um, that's fantastic. But I, 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 uh, Monica, good evening. But before I go any further, I, I just want to actually just to say that um, words, um, words are very powerful. Words are like, um, I think there's a scripture in the Bible that's like, like settings of, like, like, like they're settings. Um, when they come together, they're so powerful. Words are something which are used to be, to cherish, something to build, something to, um, nourish there's a, a picture i have of a tree a, a good friend of mine um a, a good friend of mine mentioned something showed me a picture he acted a picture in jamaica this massive big tree i put the tree on my instagram and on the tree it is so big it has this massive root you know um massive foundation and it goes up and it's all these different um limbs and it is flourishing you know lush very lush and beautiful tree. And I said, can I use that tree? And he said, yes, please use it. Um, Claude Fletcher is the name of a gentleman there who used to work with in Jamaica. And what I saw with that tree was a tree which had its legacy, legacy which all 
bear, I call it legacy bearers, a, a tree which actually sets out um, the, the standard, you know, as much as possible, you know, good evening, Monica. And, and that's what I want to talk about. I want to talk about something which disturbed me so much last week that I had to just sort of come off Facebook Live just for a week, <laughs> just for a week, just a few days, you know. Didn't come on Facebook like I was really just disturbed by what I was actually seeing. Two key things that happened last week, which made me actually stop and wonder, where are we going as a people? And when I say people, I'm not talking about black people, I'm talking about people, whereby we allow certain rhetorics, certain terms, certain language to actually captivate us so much that we own those words, that we claim those words, that we use those words, and that we start to dispense or be um, conduit, rather, of these words as much as possible. And, and I was shocked, and I was completely appalled by it, as much as, as, much as I say. And, 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 and as a result of that, I had to really stop and actually think for a bit about the some somebody said to me that um the chair i'm actually sitting on squeak so i'm going to try to stay a, a, a bit still so i don't want to um squeak the the, the person out um let me just uh somebody said to me that uh, turn this down now, now two things firstly donald trump made a statement last week whether it is alleged or whether or not. But the fact of the situation, there's a particular word, um, two words or three words, which was made last week. And whether or not it was proven to be true or not, people grabbed on to those words. And by grabbing on to those words, they claim those words. They bring those words into their heart and they claim those words. I've not uttered those words. I've not shared those words. I've not received those words. But I was amazed and appalled by how many people just claim those words. And said, I am from one of those nations. I am a recipient of that type of thinking. I am. And I'm saying, and, 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 and I started to think about it. I started to think of, and I'm scratching my head. And I'm saying, I, I don't understand what is happening. Big news reporters, big news channels, big major news network, big names saying, disgusting and derogatory term on primetime news, primetime television, primetime in your life, primetime, primetime, prime. And you also, persons who are listening, have been such a recipient and be one that dispenses also of such words. And I start to think to myself and said, where is it? come to, to the point whereby people somehow take in words, own these words, internalize these words. I've seen a, a Nigerian guy in a car also talking about his nation. And, and in talking about his nation, he actually started to describe how his nation is a recipient of such words, as a recipient of such terminologies. And, and I start to think to myself, and I, and I, I said to myself, how have we come to this, I, uh, Michael Simon, hi Lisa, how have we come to this point, yeah? How have we come to this point whereby we claim negative rhetorics? How have we come to this point where we claim things and we own it? 
and we receive it and we internalize it. One man says something and we claim it. The next, the next picture is this, of a little boy with a picture on a t-shirt with a word in. I didn't share it as well. Because I choose, and we can choose what we... Listen, social media is this, ladies and gentlemen. This is my perspective. Social media is a platform, and I use word, which is powerful, a platform. And when you think of a platform now, um, I think of a school. I think of a scenario whereby there's going to have this massive event. There's going to be this modeling show. There's going to be this um, graduation. There's going to be this church service there's going to be this inauguration or whatever like that so you've got this platform social media is a platform so therefore you determine what you put on your platform in any platform if it's a modeling um, showcase the models will be determined by the persons who actually are the, uh, what should I say, the designers of the catwalk. Pieces like Makeup Lisa, Lisa Roach, will make sure that they have the right makeup on these models. Right? If it's an inauguration, if it's a graduation, they're very careful with detail as to what they want on this platform to make sure it is perfect. So if social media is a platform which we use, then why do we choose to use it just willy-nilly why do we just why do we just use it for why do we use it for the furtherance of negative rhetoric don't get me wrong it is important to address things which are negative it is important to address things which are wrong it is important to address things which need to shed a light on but the question is you, you don't have to allow the birds to sit in your head and to poo, 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 and poo and make it a S H head. You know what I'm trying to say? Danit Gale, Felicia, good evening. Ladies and gentlemen, I would appreciate if you just share this video. It would be great. Um, so as I said, I really had to just for a day or a few days just come off Facebook Live and just really think and say, what is this? What is this that I'm, am I seeing? Why is it people are so quick to take on negative things, take on negative words which are uttered by others and to claim it and then you interna internalize it, yeah? Then you chew on, chew on it and then you spew it out on your platform. Right? I'm not going to say this time that we are guilty of it. I'm not guilty of it. I choose not to. I'm not guilty of it. I choose carefully what I put on. Everything that I put on Facebook or on social network is carefully chosen. I'm sometimes challenged by what I put on. And I always challenge persons who dare challenge me as to what I put on. Because it is my choice as to what I put on my platform. There's a reason, there's a purpose. Every person has a call, a purposeful call upon their life. Every, purpose, every person has a, a predestined destination. Every person has a USP. Every person has a DNA. We have a responsibility, ladies and gentlemen. As I said, I had to think twice about doing a next Facebook Live as to what messages am I, am I trying to send? Am I just going to jump on to the next fad? Jump on to the next Trump factor, the next thing which is creating likes, loves, hearts, whatever like that? Or am I just to be true to myself? So I go to the H&M. &M. So the H&M ad with, the, with the, the shirt, with the young man, goes out there now with a terminology on it. And everybody's up in arms. And I'm saying to myself, and I said, to, and a few persons I spoke to, and I said, well, Silver, why are they up in arms with a word which we have rejected? 
Why are they up in arms with a word which we should not be receiving or internalizing or being a part of us? Why? Now, don't get me wrong. I understand the background. I understand the history. I understand just like when someone uses the N-word as to why it is, should not be used. But then at the same time, I do have a choice. You have a choice either to shut it down instantly. Bam. Shut it down. H&M would not have had no form of PR. No form of share. If instantly you saw it, bam, deleted. I see pictures. I see images at times on Facebook. And I said, I have a choice. I have a choice that I could actually say, this is gross. This is wrong. I've got to tell everybody that this is wrong. Let me share this now and say, guys, this is wrong, blah, 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 and share it out there. And everybody go, yeah, this is wrong. And everybody started sharing. You're sharing something which is wrong, which we all know is wrong. But there's a way we can address that. That can be addressed by actually shutting it down instantly. No earplay. Not my platform. No way, Jose. Or just sharing it again. Give it more airplay. Give it more kudos. Then all of a sudden, you are now proponents or conduits or conductors of something which you hate, something which you abhor. So my question is this. Why is it that easy for us? Not me. I'm taking myself out of the equation this time. Why is it, Sharon Scott, how are you? Why is it so easy for us to own things, internalize it, claim it? So Trump says something about nations. Why claim it? Why, why are we claiming it? Why are people claiming it? And say, oh yes, I'm from this nation. Why? You know? You know, just shut it down. Why claim it? To, yes, I'm from this nation. Yes, the, the, my, people from my nation who are like this, do this and do this. Why? I can't see the psychology behind it. MJ Brown, what we focus on expands. So it is important what we focus on. I focus on the fact that I recovered from a stroke and I'm grateful for health and life. Now, hear what MJ said. It is, it is important what we focus on. His focus on now is on health and life because he recovered from a stroke. And MJ, I, I wish you all the, the best and, and all members here, um, all, 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 all the blessings and, and, and all wishes for yourself. Grateful for health and life and strength. Not about the fact that someone with the negative rhetoric. And as I said, I have not, this is me, I have not shared anything about that negative rhetoric. I have not shared anything about this type of so-called nations. I have not shared anything about H&M of a particular animal or whatever. Because I, I just say without a doubt, it is irrelevant it is irrelevant to the focus of life on what we should be focusing on, ladies and gentlemen. Right? You see, so what we have is this. We have our children and our children, children who are out there now looking for leadership from us as adults. And I'm not going to say leadership from the media because I don't see any leadership from the media over the issues regarding what Trump did or alleged it, or alleged said, or whatever said. The most important thing which I've seen is that the mainstream media, who should be setting an example, are all over the airwaves using derogative, derogatory language, mainstream, main time, mainstream, news time, prime time. Everyone have fallen into this abyss of disgusting terminologies 
So therefore, so you blame the president, but you're all recipient of such. All recipient of such. So the question is, where's the leadership? Where's the leadership for the children that are out there? Innocent minds. We claim all the while that they are spoiling our children. But at the same time, we are also spoiling our children because we are not having the ability to shut things down. You have to have the ability to shut things down immediately. Bam! That's not necessary. That's not meaning to say that one is actually condoning it or being complicit by silence. Sometimes there's a silence is consent. No, sometimes it's wise. Sometimes silence is golden. Sharon Scott says, because they know how to whip up a frenzy. Of course, the media knows how to whip up a frenzy. And guess what? I like my shakes, you know? I like to mix. My wife loves mixing, making all these different shakes with Juice Plus. But I like to make fruit juices, mango, guava, the, the grapes, orange. I like to cut it up. And then I put it in the blender with some ice and I whip it up, you know, whip it up so nice, whip it up. So therefore I get a, ne a nutrient. I get a, a beautiful nutrient, which I then take in and I actually inter internalize. But what I've seen is that it's the same thing as Sherry Scott says, whereby the media and everybody whip us up. Not me. I'm sorry. I'm taking myself out of the equation this time. Normally, sometimes we, we, we put ourselves in things and say, yes, we, we. I'm not saying we, not, not me. I, I'm, I'm out of that. I'm not into no whipped up frenzy. I'm on, a, I'm, on a, I'm on a focus. I'm on a track. I'm on a particular track. I'm on a particular road there. You know, not me. Ain't, you know, no whipped up frenzy or whatever like that. I'm taking myself out there this time. But what I saw last week, Shock me to the core when I see so many people claiming that they're from this type of country. Claiming that they're byproduct or recipient of this type of country. Claiming that they are from this type of country and because of they're from this type of country that they are now saying that even the United States are now that type of country. Some are saying now even the UK is now that type of a country. One terminology, one terminology mentioned by a man, which is not acceptable, alleged or not alleged, and everybody has run with it, and it's become the hallmark of something which we all claim. Where are the leaders of today? I have a picture of Martin Luther King. That was strategic. Martin Luther King said, I have a dream. And that dream it resonates still today. That dream resonates today whereby, you know, you know, he has been to the mountaintop, he has seen. But this is not the dream. You know, these were not the dream that Martin Luther King saw. This is not the dream. This is not the dream that I'm seeing for my children. Right? Equally, there are people offended by the alleged statement. Offenses will come left, right, and center, ladies and gentlemen. Offenses must come. Offenses must come. I tell you this. Let me tell it to you now. You will be offended, but do you move every time by an offense? There's a person said to me one time, and he said, very powerful. If you dare... Let offense come every time in time of you. Then, then, because of a result of that, because it's so internalized, they've gone into your emotion. When it's gone into your emotion, then it's difficult to be controlled. Or you control yourself because your emotion has taken over. You know? And, and, and that's the thing. So therefore, nothing is wrong. Nothing is wrong for people to be outraged. 
Nothing is wrong for people to be outraged. But it is how you lead your outrage. But I'm not into it. I'm not into the bandwagon business, man. And I'm saying to people, line up, man, wise up. Wise up, because guess what? This is not the, this is not the start, and this is not the end. There's much more to come. Yes? I wasn't offended. I'm not easily offended. I'm not offended by, because guess what? That didn't, that wasn't something that I internalize for it to offend me or my people or my family. Because guess what? I know who I am. If you know who you are, you will not be easily offended. But if you lack substance and stature and the mindset and the strength of purpose and sense of purpose of who you are, then you will be easily offended by any whims of doctrines, any words which has been uttered by any man, woman, boy, child or girl or boy. You'll be easily offended. So what has got to reach the point whereby one have this level of assurance. Hey, Paula Brown, how are you? One has to have this level of assurance, a sense of identity. Right? And just because something is wrong doesn't mean to say that it has to be attacked. Sometimes it is best sometimes to shut things down instead of giving it, what do you call it? Um, what's the right word? Fuel. There's a movie. Uh, I think it was Will Smith was in it. Independence Day. I think there was a part two one with Will Smith's son and Will Smith didn't come in it. And, but in Independence Day, whenever they are attacking that massive, um, what should I say, uh, 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 a spaceship, the more they attack the spaceship, it gets bigger. Whoosh. And there's also another movie also, when anger feeds the blob or the whatever gets big, bloop, bloop. it feeds off fear, feeds off emotion. And with the Independence Day, with the spaceship or with the whatever, the more they attack it with the, and, and the president say, let's, let's blurt it out of the sky. And when they attack and they attack and they attack and they believe that everything is over, guess what? And they say, can I get a status? Can I get a status? And they say, look, I think we got it. I think we got it. Can I get a status? Can I get status? Status update. When they look, it got actually much bigger. But as I said, Every man has a way how they want to actually attack and to fight a war or whatever like that, you know. But I'm just saying to people, I'm just saying to people, listen, there are different strategic ways instead of jumping on the bandwagon, jumping in the crowd and just getting easily offended. Because getting easily offended, that's just a start. Because the more you get easily offended, you're actually sowing a seed because you get more offended easier and easier. But if you are focusing resolve, you know, if you're focused and resolved as to where you're going, you're, you'll be so focused and resolved that things are going to be happening that you're going to miss it. You got people today who said, actually, they have not experienced racism. It is not that they have not experienced racism, but it's the fact that their focus is beyond racism. They've seen that it was a racist thing, but they got bigger than that. Their focus and their outlook was much bigger. Because guess what? You will never ever in this world get rid of racism, get rid of discrimination, right? That's reality. But if you know who you are, ladies and gentlemen, let me drink some water. Barry Thomas, how are you? Cheers, Mike. If you know who you are, if you have that res and mark you, knowing who you are, have a sense of, it has a lot of different factors that makes one know who they are, you know? I know they are sometimes it's got the belief in, in, in themselves, in their different gods, in their belief in Christ, in their belief in self, in their belief in their history or whatever like that. Many persons have their different foundation as to what they believe and who they believe in to make them sort of rocky, not Balboa, if you know what I'm saying. MGA Brown says they were using a marketing strategy to draw attention in order to gain more sales. 
That is the situation with H&M using that one. And as a result of the H&M, of course, we know that they got it, even though some stores were actually destroyed or, or, or um, uh, demolishing South Africa and some other nations or whatever like that because they say it was a bit offensive. It was offensive. The words on the T-shirt was offensive. The words uttered by Trump, alleged or whatever, was offensive. It's offensive at the same time. But... Are we going to move every time by offense? Are we going to be this reactionary, be reactive, you know, reactive, re, re, reactive? Or are we going to be proactive? We're going to be re, re, bam. He said it's, I'm mad. And, you know, I'm Billy Jean and I'm mad. I'm Billy Jean. And, I used to love that song. I'm Billy Jean. That is the response to Michael Jackson. I don't know if you guys know that. You know, I'm Billy Jean, but I'm mad as hell. She responded to Michael Jackson first, Billy Jean. You know, and they were going back and forth with that different song. So, therefore, in this particular situation, how much are we going to be offended? Because guess what? If you think that's the start of the offense, there's much more to come. So you'll be gonna be you're gonna be able to be on your two t- your, your toes, man. You gotta be up there, man. You gotta be you're gonna be really dealing with so many things because man, man, offense is gonna come. Offense is gonna come left, right, and center. You know, you know, you know. So you know, as I said, for those who are offended, be offended. That's your issues. You know what I mean? I have nothing to do with anybody being offended, but I choose. Not to be offended that easily. We have to be wise as serpent and harmless as doves. Right? Because guess what? There's much more offense to come. I'm just giving you a warning here. And as the offenses come, are you going to operate in your soulish mentality? In the flesh? In the sense of actually trying to deal with things? When really and truly, a lot of things are spiritual, right? A lot of things are actually there to actually rock the boat. Even Jesus Christ said, you know, he's going to offend. I don't know who the scripture is or something like Somebody try to find it, you know what I mean? I'm sure I'm not going to Harrison now, you know what I mean? Jesus Christ offended people. I will offend some people. I offend people sometimes. It's not like I go to my way to say I'm going to offend but you will offend people sometimes. Right? And I get offended sometimes, but I choose as a, what do I do about that? You know what I mean? Especially if somebody challenge my right to say something. I get offended by that easily. I get annoyed. And I say, how dare you? You know what I mean? Anybody who knows me, I, get, I do get aff- offended or annoyed when somebody dare challenge my right to say something or to how I put something, how I articulate something. But all I'm trying to say is this. Let's be rocky. Not bad boy, you know, you know, and and as you know, as as MJ said, MJ said something very powerful. He recovered from a stroke, and um, he chose to try to spend his life and to en- en- engage life and to love life because life is too short. And uh, I'm in my forties as well. Life is too short. I think you reach to a point, ladies and gentlemen, whereby you recognize that you're on your final furlong in a massive race and when you're on your final furlong in a massive race then you've got to choose how you're gonna finish that race you can look to the left you can look to the right you can look behind or you can keep focus solely ahead and by being solely ahead you're aiming for the finishing line So my my message today, and it's a simple message, ladies and gentlemen, and I implore you, if it's the only thing you get from me, don't claim negative rhetoric. Don't internalize it. Don't accept it. Don't receive it. Sometimes I say, what you perceive you receive or what you receive you perceive. Don't claim it. It's not worth it. Don't claim negative things because it is the norm. It, it, it makes sense. Sometimes things that make sense don't even make sense really anymore. That's all I'm saying. So I will not say that I was caught up in the wall frame. And I will not be caught up in the wall frame of negative rhetoric 
of claiming negative words, of claiming something that someone says about my nation, and I'm going to get vexed and angry about it. Why? Who's going to get ulcer? Why should I get ulcer? You know? Why should you get ulcer? Why should you have a heart attack? Why should you suffer a stroke? Why? Your children and children and children and children need to know, without a doubt, the words of life that is going to come out of you. They need to know those words of life. Words coming from the Bible, the good book, Words that can use a counteract. There's a time that we will say, there's a, there's a time you used to say these things, and, um, and this is something you used to say back in Jamaica. Sticks and stones may hurt my bones, but words may never harm me. But we have known today that sticks and stones sometimes, yes, will hurt bones, but words sometimes harms more. But there's also an aspect whereby one resists words, Choose to resist words. Choose not to claim words. Choose not to claim rhetoric. So if somebody says to your child or in school, you'll never amount to anything good. You're going to get offended? Nah, don't get offended. Say to that child, you will amount to something good. You'll be great, you'll be greater, you'll be the best, you'll be the prime minister, you'll be the president. Even though you're not in from USA and you're born in Timbuktu, you will be the president of the United States of America. Some say, but mommy, that's impossible, I'm from Timbuktu. A president of America can only be a president once they're born there. I don't know, but you'll be great. You'll be greater, okay, you'll be greater than the president then, or something like that. So you speak words of life. So if someone is saying, you're from this S country, then what you should say then is this. I'm from the best country in the world. And I and use those rhetorics. Don't claim. <clears throat> don't claim those words which have been used. Which somebody uttered. Why claim it? This is the thing freaking me out. Why claim it? Why? I'm not. And I implore you not to. If a t-shirt says, coolest whatever, don't claim it. Resist this. Shut it down. Nothing to do with me. I'm the best. I own the jungle. You know? I'm the king of the jungle. I'm the lion. You see, what has got to, you see, this is why, this is why, you know, this, this is why I say this, you know, and I say this, and I, and I say this so very much, you know, um, we, 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 we need to know who we are. We, we need to know who we are. Because until we know who we are, what is coming out of me could not come. Unless I knew who I am. And certain things cannot come. Until one comes to the recognition and realization of the source. I'm going to post a tree. And that tree is a beautiful tree. Deep. Wonderful trunk. Beautiful branches. A legacy. And I never forget Charles Kieran, my good friend, mentor, who said to me, Silburn, oh Silburn, if only Silburn knows who Silburn is. And I've shared this in a, in a video already. Silburn, oh Silburn, and I'm saying exactly as I said, if only Silburn knows who Silburn is, that word never left me that day. Maybe for a week or for a month or so. And it, it's a word that dig and dug deep inside of the reservoir of me. To come up with exactly who I am. Because when you come to the realization of who you are. 
Words don't just affect you just like that. You don't just get annoyed just like that. You don't get peed off just like that because someone says something about your country. Someone says something about your face. Someone says something about your color. I'm not saying you accept things. Don't get me wrong. But how long will we keep being reactor, reacting? Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Silburn and I approve this message. And that's all I want to say to you today is just do not claim negative rhetoric. And without a doubt, shadow of a doubt, know who you are. And don't be offended that easily. Okay? So if you like what I said, please share it. Um, um, it's 2243. That's good. Don't want to make it very long because I want people to watch this. And, and as I said... Do not take in words which demeans you and don't claim it and don't try to justify it but resist it and reject it. Resist it and reject it. Don't claim negative rhetoric. Don't own it. You have a responsibility to your spheres of influence, you have a responsibility to your children, 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 to let them hear words of life coming out of you, not, not, not regurgitating things coming from someone who doesn't care about you, who doesn't know you, who have no iota responsibility for you. The world has gone mad. No, correction. The world has not gone mad. It's the people that's in it. What I saw last week, and I said it again, shocked me to the core. Where mainstream news using disgusting, negative rhetoric. And of course, what they're trying to do is getting more likes. Lou Rawls said this, very simple. What's the matter with the world as the world's gone mad? Mm -hmm, you know? And then the next words was, Nothing's wrong with the world. It's the people that's in it. In it, in it, in it. So the world is beautiful. God has created a beautiful world. Nothing's wrong with the world. It's the people that's in it. So choose to be one of those persons that makes the world beautiful. You have a choice. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Silburn Sidil, and I approve this message. Please kindly go to my uh, Facebook page, like it, and uh, go to my YouTube channel, The Silburn Show, um, on Silburn TV, and share it, subscribe to it, subscribe to it. And on my Instagram, I've got a great guy now who's actually um, increasing the, the following on the Instagram as well. And that's fantastic. MJ, I'm going to give you a buzz, sir. We, we need some real positive energy because I realize clearly, without a shadow of a doubt, that we cannot afford to be followers. But we have got to be leaders. And we cannot go with the rhetoric. And we cannot afford to be offended very easily. But we have got to be leaders. God has called men. We are men. Called to lead. Not to be followers. And not to make let the mainstream have us in a frenzy, as my colleague, my friend said. He whip us up into a frenzy. Let us just whip us each other into positive mentality. Thank you. And I love this message. Thank you. I'm going to listen to this again because I've been blessed by what I've just said. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Bye-bye.